The man accused of killing a Duke grad student will stay in jail. A judge refused to give that suspect a bond during his first court appearance today. CBS 17's Ben Buckham joins us live after digging into the relationship between the suspect and the victim. Ben. Angela Rizzi's father told me his daughter knew the suspect and they were friends. Now, uh, 30-year-old Stefan DeBose is charged with murder and attempted murder. And uh, Angela Rizzi's roommate was also shot in that incident. And she is in the hospital in critical condition. Rizzi's father, Matt, called his daughter brilliant. People have described her as always lighting up a room, always being so cheerful. Italians, man and encouraging. This was her second year at Duke, and her dad says Durham is exactly where she wanted to be. The suspect in this case... Oh, no. No. Angela, what the fuck were you... Angela, what the fuck? And then you got your roommate shot, too? Angela, they did not send you down there for that, man. They didn't send you down to Duke to be shacking up with some goddamn fucking mutant. <laughs> Damn, man. Relationship between the suspect and the victim, Ben. Angela Rizzi's father told me his daughter knew the suspect and they were friends. Now, uh, 30-year-old Stefan DeBose is charged with murder and attempted murder. And uh, Angela Rizzi's roommate was also shot in that incident. And she is in the hospital. She got a roommate shot too, man. I wonder if the roommate was like, he's cute. Can you, does he have any friends? If the roommate, because here's the thing, man. When you bring around a son, man, you put everybody in jeopardy, man. You put everybody in jeopardy, man. The roommate ain't signed up for that, man. If I was the roommate's fucking family, I would sue her ass. I would sue her parents. Sue her parents for fucking bringing this guy around, man. Salute to Muramasa, Ock Nation Hall of Famer, man. He says, thievery like this will never happen in Saudi Arabia, UAE, Qatar. Perps will do you the hard time or lose their hands. Yeah, but what do you what do you lose if you kill somebody, man? If you lose a hand for stealing, what should you lose for killing somebody? Shit, man. Listen, man, I... <laughs> When you hear a white person got murdered, man, you almost now got to be like, you almost got to now, like, think like, well, we've always been like that here. But I think the masses, the non oc nation, the infidels, man, what do you call them, infidels? Yeah, people that's not a part of oc nation. What do y'all think? You think that people that aren't oc nation are starting to be like, yo, every time a white person is fucking murdered. It's like a fucking black guy did it. You think they start to catch on? His roommate was also shot in that incident, and she is in the hospital in critical condition. Reezy's father, Matt, called his daughter brilliant. People have described her as always lighting up a room, always being so cheerful and encouraging. This was her second year at Duke, and her dad says Durham is exactly where she wanted to be. The suspect in this case, Stefan DeBose, is charged with murder and attempted murder. Matt Reezy told me his daughter was friends with DeBose and even helped Angela move into her home. I also talked to her mentor. Jesus Christ. What was, how was she friends with this guy, man? What are you doing, Angela? What's wrong with you, man? That was your friend? Son, man, if you was son, man, friend, you was coughing up some draws, man. That son, man, where he, he was hanging around trying to get some draws, or he was he already got them. 
Matt Reezy told me his daughter was friends with DeBose and even helped Angela move into her home. I also talked to her mentor and former teacher in Chicago. She got us through COVID. You know, I think we were supposed to get dancers through COVID, but she really got my faculty and our community through because she was such a constant presence of light and positivity. To look at this room full of dancers that are in the position she just was in and to think that she's no longer able to pursue that is really heartbreaking. Reezy's father says he doesn't feel hatred for DeBose and he trusts the criminal justice. Yo, y'all glad is a strange man. That's your little precious little angel, man. Look, man, it is what it is, man. Y'all, we, we the, the 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 South African glider said it about the um Napoleon Dynamite who killed his kid, and now this fucking glider saying it about this fucking goddamn fucking goddamn sun turd that killed his kid. That's was it, and to think that she's no longer able to pursue that is really. Heartbreaking. Reezy's father says he doesn't feel hatred for DeBose and he trusts the criminal justice system. Her life was cut short and she wasn't able to share her talents and her art. Now, once again, Matt, Matt Reezy, Angela Reezy's father tells me that the family will be in Durham throughout the next week and they would love to meet anyone who knew their daughter. We're live here in Durham. Ben Boken, CBS 17. Well, we... <laughs> Anyone? Because, I mean, we, we know somebody who knew your daughter. You want to meet him? Because he um I, he knew your daughter. And, you know, since it's all good, since you ain't got no hard feelings, man, you guys might as well have lunch, man. Shit. DBS 17 News. It's such a sad story. Such man. a sad story and so many questions about why. Such a sad story. Yeah, you fucking... God damn, she boom. Look at this she boom. If it was the other way, if that would have been a fucking black girl at Duke, man. <laughs> Remember that lacrosse? Remember the Duke lacrosse team? Some damn fucking strippers went there and got and, and lied about getting raped. We just talking about a rape. That shit was national news. This should be national news, man. I'm calling on everybody, man. Send this to everybody. Send this to Brandon Tatum. Send this to um, Black Conservative Perspective. Send this to Chaotic Truth. Send this to Black Gen Z. Send this to Actual Justice Warrior. Send this to everybody, man. This, this, this beautiful Italian girl, man. And there's, don't get me wrong, she's not beautiful, but she's a she's she was beautiful in her in her light, like her dancing. She was a beautiful a beautiful person. You could tell she was a beautiful. She has a a light, a glow to her, you know. And I like her collarbones. I hate them. Big collarbones. I like her collarbones. She's she's cute, man. In a you know, in a in a in a in a um in a in a grease ball kind of way. <laughs> a cute little grease ball, man. Yeah, man. This is this is terrible, man. This is terrible, man. There's so many of these stories, there's not enough. You can't cover them all. You can't cover them all. And this she boom, she get to act like it's no big deal. Oh, such a terrible story. If it was reversed, you'd be fucking calling out tomorrow for um talking about um you couldn't focus and shit. You'd be fucking diversity training and the shit. 
and fucking whole fucking city would be burned down if this was reversed. Some white guy killed some fucking black girl on the Duke campus. The whole fucking city would be burning. It's such a sad story. Such there. a sad story and so many questions about why, 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 why. That's right. Ben, thanks so much.